If you have a jigsaw and you don't know how to use it, if you are struggling to get a clean cut using this thing, if you are getting sick of being suck at everything, this video is for you. So now we're gonna start a new series called Let's Craft Together. And in this series, we're gonna make tools and use them to make another tool. So the first tool that we're gonna make is the jigsaw holder or the jigsaw cutting station or whatever you're gonna call it. So enough talking and let's do it. So all we're gonna need is a tall screw, two of these, some washers if you have, and of course a piece of wood. And this is what we have to build. I know that you're not gonna understand anything but I know what I'm doing. I'm sure about that this time. So now we have to cut the wood into these pieces so we can do this thing. So now let's cut it. You don't have to go fast, just follow the line. It's not that hard. It's good so far. And now let's build this. Now we almost done. Actually now I glued everything with hot glue. So now it's easy to add some nails on it to make it stronger. And as you can see now it works fine. And there is no any gaps in any side. So now we have to add some screws. Make it a little bit higher from the ground. And then we are done. So yeah, let's finish this. Yep, we did it. Cool. Cool. So now all we have to do is flip it upside down and then we have to make sure that these screws were never gonna spin inside this hole. So I bought these two things. I don't know what you call them, but you look cool. I, <laughs> I was gonna call them a spin controller. To install it, you have to dig a hole a little bit bigger than the screw itself. So you can put this one in inside the hole. And then you have to use a hammer or anything that can apply force to it to make it deep inside the wood just like that. Now it's gonna fit perfectly. And now we have destroyed everything around it so we can dig it in. Perfect. Let's do a quick try. You want to clean cut or what? Th that, that's a clean cut. Look at that. For the height, I'm gonna make it about 4 cm. I guess it'll be enough. So now I'm gonna put this tool into the real test. I'm gonna build its own legs using it.
Now I have the piece of wood and I marked where I have to cut. So now we have to make this mark angled with this line. So we have to see through these holes to make sure it's aligned perfectly. Now it's aligned perfectly, as you can see. Once you get this result, now we have to seal it. Make sure it will never gonna move. Now let's see the result. Okay, yep. It's a clean cut with a straight line. It did what it's supposed to do. Okay, it stopped recording by mistake. Okay, we're gonna try it again so I can record it. And now it is. See? That's a perfect clean cut. Uh, it is done.